Today I am going to talk about dystonia. Dystonia is an uncommon movement disorder. In dystonia, the brain sends wrong signals to the different part of muscle groups of the brain. And so they would tighten where they are supposed to relax and they would relax where they are supposed to tighten. This causes different type of contouring of the body posture. The fingers turn inside or the legs curl up or the legs turn inside or while walking the hand goes like that. So the, several kind of activity occurs in dystonia. Now, uh, it's a very complex disease and it has got varied etiology. Etiology means the cause. The cause can be many different causes. So some patients have genetic predisposition so there are some genetic abnormalities that can cause and this some of them can be hereditary as well some of them are acquired and that is because of some insult or some damage to the part of the brain and some some of them are spontaneous which we still do not understand for example writer's dystonia or a musician's dystonia or a task specific dystonia wherein this patient would get only dystonic contouring of his fingers or awkward countering of the fingers when he will perform the task that is used to pre, uh, perform repeatedly. So if he is a writer then he will get it when he writes but he will not get it when he eats. And if it's musician and playing string organ then he, when he plays string it will turn but when he plays drum it will not happen. So this is a very specific form of dystonia most commonly seen and disability observed as writer's dystonia. Then there are some patients who have had some insult to the brain at the childhood or the, at the childbirth and they could have some part of the hand or the body going into dystonic posturing. Then there is one form of dystonia called cervical dystonia, what we call torticollis or a wry neck, wherein the patient's head turn to one side and in some of the direction and they stay, so they can't look straight. The head forcefully turns to one side and then they have to make a lot of effort to bring their head back into the natural position. And then there are generalized dystonia when the whole body goes into dystonia. So what is the treatment for this? There is some medical treatment available for this and many patients respond to medical treatment in the form of tetrabenazine, trihexphenidyl and many other drugs. Your neurologist will be able to guide you once the proper diagnosis is made. If the medical treatment is not giving you, giving you good relief, then there are surgical options in the form of either pallidotomy, wherein we make a small lesion in the brain using radio frequency lesioning probe, which will destroy or cut off the abnormally functioning brain cells. Or we can do the same thing by implanting electrode in the brain with the help of stereotactic technique called deep brain stimulation wherein two electrodes are implanted in the area of the brain which are hyper functioning and we stimulate it and block the neural signals going or originating from that area and hence alter the function of the brain causing giving providing relief to the patient of dystonia. Both these procedures are advanced functional neurosurgical procedure requiring large amount of training expertise and experience before they are undertaken because the experience for dystonia is very limited it is important that these surgeries are only performed or the patient gets it performed only at a very experienced and advanced center because if i perform 10 surgeries of deep brain stimulation for parkinson's disease i may not perform even one surgery for dystonia that is the ratio so it is very important that the clinicians understand which dystonia they are treating, what is the outcome going to be and how to handle this particular cases. If they are handled by the expert center, the outcome is quite positive and also patients would have large amount of safety built into the procedure.